Getting a flat out on the trails while riding on your EMTB is a definite day ruiner, and it can even be potentially dangerous if you are out in the back country without the proper supplies. Luckily, there are loads of ways to avoid flats while you are out on your EMTB, and we are going to talk about some of the top ways to avoid those flats, those pesky goat heads, and those mean little pieces of glass that people leave on the trail. So let's talk about how to avoid getting a flat on your EMTB or even your mountain bike. Of course, there is no surefire, 100% gold standard way to always avoid flats out on the trails, so it is a good idea to always be prepared. Make sure that you are always carrying a spare tube, a mini pump, and of course a patch kit so that you can keep riding with a replaced tube or a patched up tube, or at the very least, if it's a slow leak, keep a little bit of air in your tube so you're not just totally destroying your rim trying to get back to your vehicle or your starting point. But the long and short of it is, make like a Boy Scout and make sure that you are always prepared. We're gonna start off with probably the most popular setup. That is a tubeless setup. Now, if you don't know what a tubeless setup is, let me explain it to you real quick. Basically, you take the tube, that's the thing that holds the air in the tire, usually on a bike, you take that out. You might need to add a tubeless rim tape so that it is optimized for a tubeless setup, but a lot of rims come with tubeless tape already. Then you add a little bit of orange juice to the tire. Just kidding, that is not orange juice, that is tire sealant. Please do not drink it. It's gonna seal up any little goat head holes, little pin holes, I don't know if you hit a little bit of glass maybe, anything really up to a quarter of an inch, it is going to fill up that hole and make sure that you don't get a flat. And you are set and good to go. You have got one of the most effective setups for not getting a flat even on the goat headiest, rot gardeniest areas ever. Basically, it's the best way in our opinion. Tubeless setups will add a little bit to your overall weight, but generally speaking, this is not going to be a big deal for most EMTB riders because you got that motor. I should also mention that it can take a minute sometimes for the sealant to fill up the hole, especially on bigger punctures. So make sure again that you are carrying a mini pump with you so that you can help it refill the tire if you do lose a little bit of air while that hole is filling with sealant. I should also also note that you can't go tubeless with every tire and rim setup. If you have a pretty basic or pretty entry level wheel, it actually might not hold air even after you tape the rim up just because there's sometimes gaps where the wheel was built and kind of put together. So don't be surprised if you have a little bit more of an entry level bike or an entry level wheel set and tire setup if you can't go tubeless. You might have to upgrade in order to do this setup. But that's why it's a good idea to get it checked out by a professional mechanic if you're not sure what you're doing. By the way, you can go tubeless on a lot of road and gravel bikes as well, but of course we're focusing on mountain bikes and EMTBs in this video, but just so you know, tubeless setups are becoming more and more popular for road bikes too. The next flat preventative items that we're gonna talk about are inserts and liners. These essentially are physical barriers either between the tire and the tube or the tube and the rim. My go-to option here is going to be the Rhino Dillo's tire liner. It is basically exactly what it sounds like it's gonna be. It is a physical barrier, again, between your tube and your tire. It is going to add a little bit of weight because your tube is staying in and you're adding something on top of it, but that extra weight is pretty effective at keeping you from getting a flat. Since you're keeping tubes in there anyway, it might be a good idea to add thorn resistant tubes as well. This is another way, again, that you can help prevent yourself from getting flats. We use these quite a bit on entry level bikes that can't go tubeless along with the Rhino Dillo's tire liners because it's a cheap and effective way to avoid getting a flat while you're out on the trails. And again, if you are looking at road bikes or staying on the roads, I actually did use these touring through Scotland and I did not get a flat for a thousand miles, which was a nice time saver and it meant I could just enjoy the ride a little bit. So they're definitely effective. I totally stand by these. Another insert that has gained popularity over the last couple of years is the Cush Core Tire Insert. Now these are pretty widely pitched in other videos that I've seen on this topic as a surefire way to avoid flats. I will say that even Kushcore is going to tell you that this is not their primary purpose. Their primary purpose to me is that if you do get a flat and it's like you can't repair it, it's catastrophic, you can actually get back to your car or get back to where you started uh, with this system because the Kushcore essentially just goes right in between the rim and the tire so that you can get back to it and kind of roll on your rim without doing any serious damage. 
Also, if you get a flat because you're hitting a rock garden so hard or doing such a hard drop, you're not going to do any damage to that rim because you have this nice piece of foam in between the rim and the tire. Now, the Cushcore does provide some flat prevention, particularly in situations where you're riding at lower PSIs. Maybe you've got a tricky section coming up. Riding at lower PSIs is going to invite more flats if you're not careful. So it's really good for these situations where you're, again, you're going through more technical stuff and you want those lower PSIs for your personal comfort and safety. But again, their main purpose to me is that if you do have a catastrophic tire failure that cannot be replaced, you can still ride back to your car, albeit pretty slowly, without doing any major damage to your rims. So the above options are great for any bike, but I would definitely say if you are rocking a Gates carbon belt drive or an internally geared hub as opposed to a traditional derailleur on your EMTB or bike packing bike, please do at least one of these. So get a tubeless setup, get some liners, get a thorn resistant tube, or get a Cush Core insert, because it is going to be a pain out on the trails if you get a flat and you're rocking a internally geared hub, it just takes a long time to get that flat changed. And honestly, it's a pretty high level of mechanic skill that you need to get these flats changed. So again, on any bike, they're great options, but on internally geared hubs, they are almost completely necessary in my opinion. Finally, let's talk about ways that you can avoid flats. If these are a little bit too labor intensive or you don't wanna spend the money on something like that right now, or you wanna wait till your first flat until you're gonna go ahead and get those changes or upgrades made, let's talk about a couple ways that you can avoid flats in the meantime. First of all, make sure that the tire pressure that you are riding at is at the higher limit or close to the highest limit of what your tire can take. Tires with higher pressures are way less likely to get flats. That's just a fact. Make sure that you are rocking pretty close to this higher limit. Usually it's gonna be around 50 or 60 for mountain bike tires. You're not gonna get as much grip with these higher tire pressures, so you might have to adjust the way you are riding a little bit. But if not getting a flat is important to you, this is a pretty surefire way to make sure that you're not gonna get a flat unless you're rolling over something crazy, crazy sharp. Secondly, be wary of where you are riding. If you have the choice between going through a super overgrown area where you can't really see the trail and going on something a little bit more open, I'd recommend going on something a little bit more open. So if you don't have any protection, all you've got is a tube and a tire, make sure that you've got eyes on the trail and you're just aware of where you are riding. And lastly, you can save yourself a lot of grief by checking your wheel and your tire before you head out on the trails. So if you've just put a new tube in or something like that, you gotta make sure you're inspecting that rim tape, making sure there's no burrs in there, making sure that your spokes aren't poking through or anything like that, that the rim tape is smooth, that it is intact, and that flats are not gonna be coming from inside the house. So those are our tips and recommendations for avoiding flats on the trails and a couple of tips for you road riders as well. Let me know what you guys are doing to avoid flats in the comments below. If we missed any, if you think there's a really good setup that we didn't talk about, let us know in the comments below. Maybe we'll pin it for a while and everyone can see how smart you are. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you subscribe, but until next time, enjoy the ride.